This is the final video in our Project Foundation course. Thank you for your patience. I know we've been through a lot together, but I trust it will all pay off. We've kept the best for last in this final section. At the heart of nearly every growth project, you'll find lists. Lots of them. In projects, we keep track of all sorts of information in various lists. Whether it's to identify our current key clients, create an invitation list, or build a database of new leads, we rely on lists for nearly everything. Join me for a deep dive into the different types of project lists and how you can use them to your benefit. In the example project we've been using, you might have noticed that beyond our four default tabs, overview, tasks, opportunities, and documents, there are a number of additional tabs that have been added. These are custom project lists, the heart of Nexel projects. You can create an additional tab by clicking on the plus sign at the far right of your existing tabs. From there, you can select one of the four options that appear, contact list, company list, generic list, or URL embed. The first three options are all project lists. We have contact lists for people, company lists for organizations, and generic project lists for complete flexibility. The fourth option allows you to add a new tab where you can embed a URL or iframe. Let's go through some examples of these different list types. Contact lists, as the name suggests, will hold contacts that already live on Nexel. In this example, we'll look at a contact list for a breakfast briefing on sustainable finance for selected client contacts. This project contact list will be very helpful in managing that event. You can add contacts one by one using the Add button, or you can add them from your personal contacts or the All Contacts section in Nexel. Select the contacts you want to copy into your project list, click on the Add to List link, and search for your project list in the drop-down menu. When adding contacts to a project list, you are able to expose nearly all of the data we hold on those contacts. Some of the fields will show by default. For others, you may need to select them in the submenu all the way on the right. Nexel uses the power of AG Grid, a feature-rich data grid that will allow users to slice and dice the information any way they want. You can sort, group, filter, and select on all columns in your list. Nexel even allows you to create custom columns with a broad spectrum of file types to allow you to build any list you can possibly imagine. You can add fields for currency or data or add lookup fields for contacts, companies, or the lawyers and employees of the firm. You can also create your own select or multi-select fields where you can enter the values that you need to manage your list. In this table, for instance, we could add an additional multi-select field to indicate the legal area of interest of our breakfast briefing invitees. We simply click on the Create column option, choose the multi-select field, and add the values we want to show. Or we can decide to assign every attendee to one of the partners of the firm. Here we will use the employee's lookup field to add an additional column for the relationship partner. You can edit the rows in line or even bulk edit the contacts in your list. Company lists work very much the same way. As with the contact lists, Nexel will show a couple of standard fields, such as the location, the number of contacts we have in a company, the company type, and detailed engagement information. But with the column submenu, you can expose a whole range of data points Nexel holds on those particular companies. One of the great benefits of Nexel project lists is the fact that you can always pull up contact and company records from within your project list. So no more flat Excel spreadsheets with disjointed and fragmented information. Instead, you can have a 360 degree view of every company or contact in your project. In a company list, for instance, you can open up any company to view which contacts the firm has in that particular organization, who knows who, any open opportunities, related documents, notes, or tasks. And there are additional functionalities. 
For example, in project lists, you can create reminders against date fields in a particular list. Here, for instance, we could set a reminder to reach out to certain companies we haven't spoken to in the last 30 days. You can also import spreadsheets directly into project lists, whether it's a company or a contact list, with an effective and user-friendly import function. Lots to explore and discover. In generic lists, you are able to build a project list from scratch entirely. You don't need to pull in any information from existing Nexel data, but you can choose which fields to include and which custom values to add. The only limit is your imagination. In our sustainable financing example, we have an itemized cost list that consists entirely of custom built fields. It's like the Swiss army knife of project lists. Finally, we are also able to add tabs to your project that can contain information from other places outside. We can include third-party websites or even Power BI reports. Congratulations on making it through the course. I hope this was a helpful introduction to Nexel projects. As always, feel free to reach out to our client services team if you have any questions or need additional support. See you in Nexel.